Yeah, it's a big week. Uh, very fortunate to be in this position. Our guys have come a long way. Uh, they've weathered the storms, and um, you know. But every team has their own story, and uh, you know our team has its story. But proud of our guys, their character for persevering. And now we've got a we've got a big road trip. Uh, Tennessee Mar just finished watching our game here against them. It was a six seven point game with a minute to go. Um, the one thing that makes them really scary is uh, they can really score. They average almost eighty points a game. So. Um, and it's, you know, they beat us in this situation last year, last week of the regular season. So we're going to have to go over there, and it's going to have to be a terrific, terrific defensive uh, game. And the one thing they do as well, they turn you over. So we're going to have to take care of the basketball. And and then you bounce back right after that, and you got to go to, to SEMO, uh, who, again, you know, we've talked all year about the pieces that they have. They're playing well. We possibly could go in there with them on a three-game winning streak. So it's a tough stretch right here, two tough road rival games uh, for us, and we're going to have to have our best defensive performance in both games. How much will you talk to the guys about the potential you know, winning the conference championship, the opportunity there? They know we we've been talking about it the last week. You know, once we've kind of got into a, into a vision, you know, probably the last maybe the last two weeks. You know, we we've started to let them understand what it's all about. So so they understand the implications of everything. And um, all we can do right now is we had a good week of practice last week in preparation. Uh, we had a good little weight and individual workout yesterday. Now all we can do now is have two good uh, practices, a good shoot around, and and go over there and try to beat Martin on Thursday. I mean, how I, I, you know the games. Uh, you know, the great thing about Edwardsville, I will say this: they got a package with Fox Sport Midwest, and that that that's 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 phenomenal uh, for them to be able to be on Fox Sports Midwest. They close out the regular season, both games on both home games, and then our game was on against them. Austin P's game was on against them. Um, that that's that that's big time, um, you know, for them. But so. Uh, I'll uh, I'll have the game on in my living room while I'm watching tape on Martin and uh, preparing for shoot around the next morning um, for them. But you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. You know, but we 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 just we, we need to beat Martin and you know obviously we'd love for Belmont to get upset, but um, it'll be a tough game. You know, it's hard to win at Edwardsville. They're playing well. I know they got upset at Tennessee State, but I'm sure Belmont with a week of preparation, I'm sure they'll be extremely focused and ready as well. How much have you talked to the team about uh, reminding them about what happened last year, losing uh, the last two games? Uh, now, you know, it's such – last year's last year. And, and I, you know, I, there's been some points brought up in different press conferences about last year that, you know, we were in the same situation three or four weeks ago. I think somebody had mentioned that, and, and, and we were. But it's just a whole different scenario. It's a whole different team. Um, you know, um, you know, we didn't do a great job last year finishing the, finishing the regular season. I thought we played really well in the conference tournament, uh, but uh, so we'll. You know, they may know. I may mention that that we got swept this this situation, but um, it's it's two new teams, and and we just got to get ourselves ready. Talk about the season awards, paying uh, <coughs> freshman of the year, Jarvis Pine, possibly being the newcomer of the year. What does that mean? Well, it's great. It means we've done a good job recruiting. Um, you know, usually when you have um, guys, all league guys, uh, when you have a freshman of the year, newcomer of the year, when you have guys getting those newcomer awards, you're usually probably going to have a good year. And if you look back, the years that we've had really good years, you know, it's – uh, you know, Ivan, when he was freshman of the year, you know, that was we were still kind of in the building blocks process. But, you know, Isaiah, when he was freshman of the year, when, you know, B.J. Jenkins, you know, you know, we had all those all league guys. We knew guys, Isaac Miles and B.J., you know, we were we were winning, you know, we were winning a bunch. So it just says, you know, my staff did a great job bringing those guys in. And, you know, when you have good players, you have to have an opportunity to do to, to do good things. And, um, you know, in the spring, we've got to we've got to add a couple more pieces to to take another step. You said it's tough preparing, uh, you know, playing Martin, the, the way they can score and things like that. Uh, yesterday they announced that they're going to have a press conference next week discussing the future of uh, Coach James. How much uh, does that uh, I guess, how more difficult is it to play a team and the players on that team are probably playing for their coach's job? You know, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, you know, 
I was going to reach out to to, to Jason, but I, I I didn't I didn't know you know and and but I don't know the scenario, so I didn't really want to even reach out. I mean that's just media speculation and different things. And it, coaching is a tough business, so uh, I pull for all our coaches in our league. Uh, obviously, you're trying to win a championship, so if Belmont can lose Wednesday, obviously we're rooting for Edwardsville. That's just like anybody would. But you know when 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 they're not playing or they're playing outside the league, the one thing are we 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 have, we have to pull for each other. We have to pull for each other. And want guys to do well, and uh, so obviously I don't want Jason to, and Martin to beat us on Thursday night. But you know, uh, hopefully he has a long time of success over there, and, and you know that's that's not something really. Those guys are going to play because it's Murray State coming in there, and it's the big it's a big game for them, and you know they've got a lot of pride I'm sure about them, and you know Jason will have them you know have them ready. All year long, you work to get better. You get to this point in the season. Is there still some place where you can get better? Yeah, we 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 we've got a long room room of improvement still. Uh, you know, defensive, I thought we were good at times against Moorhead, but then there were stretches we had breakdowns. You know, we hadn't been consistent for 40 minutes, but it's hard to be consistently good for 40 minutes. Uh, but you know, we can take care of the basketball better. Um, you know, we're a little bit too lackadaisical at times. Um, not getting to our spots and our or having our the right reads at times. Defensively, you know, we can, you know, uh, not be great for 25 minutes, but be great for 38, 35 minutes. You know, uh, we can shoot free throws better. Uh, we can execute offensively and screen better. We we this team can still improve a whole bunch, uh, and that's why we still, you know, practices still need to be designed that way. We're not in as long. Uh, as we used to be, but practices still need to be designed that way to get these guys better and, and finish strong because um, you don't want to even talk about next year, but this is a group that needs to always continue to get better because it's not a senior-laden team. It's a it's a youthful team, so you need to coach them every day in every area. Coach, uh, kind of the quiet guy, Jeffrey Moss, you know, a lot of people talk about him. Everybody else seems to get the publicity, but you look at his stat line, at least the team that made his play, he averages nearly you know, 14 and a half points a game. He even won, seriously, 40% for three, 8% for three goal on the What a yeah, he's been he's been terrific, and he's kind of the quiet guy because that's his demeanor. His demeanor is so quiet, and, and you wish it was different, but that's just him. And what he's done, he's improved his game from last year. And, and we do a little bit, some different things as well this year offensively. I think to be able to get him off the dribble a little bit more and, and attacking the basket. But you know, I I knew his stats were good. The most impressive stat I probably look at when I look at him is the assist to turnover ratio. Uh, he just does what he can do and he makes the right decisions uh, most of the time. Um, but to average 14 and a half, I wish he rebounded a little bit better, but uh, you know, he's usually probably 80 percent from the free throw line. He probably could be a little bit better than that just because he shoots them so well at times. Almost 40 from three. He he's he's been terrific, and then usually he has to guard the other players, uh, best player. So he's made great strides from last year. Um, you know, last year was a lot of just catch and shoot, catch and shoot, catch and shoot. But he's gotten the free throw line. Uh, you look almost four times a game. You wish that could go up to six or eight, but uh, he's got a, he's established himself a little floater, a little mid range game, and um, he he's been very very good for us. But you know, Cam. Uh, deservingly so, and Jarvis deservingly so get a lot of the kudos outside the league. But um, you know, Jeff's been—he's uh, been tremendous. Played Martin. That was way back on the fifth of January, sort of before you had Williams and Farrell, uh, kind of a one-two tandem inside. How can that help you Thursday night? It really wasn't available to you back. In the well, we play. I just finished watching the game. We played those guys. I think what you're saying probably is now Jar. Uh, they Jarvis probably understands a little bit more what's going on, and then Farrell's in shape, and his body's changed. So what that gives is hopefully gives us a better opportunity to defend Taylor, and do a good job rebounding to defend the paint. Uh, and then also Farrell can move so much better now than he used to be used to. That if they do play Childs, Libo, different guys at the four, you know those guys can get out there and guard guys. Has Farrell been the most surprising? player I guess for you this year in terms of how far he's come well I think uh, you know James did a good job going down there and evaluating him and and he was really high on him uh, and then when he got here he just he just wasn't very good when he got here you know he was out of shape he was overweight he was obviously he was hurt between ankle hamstring and hernia 
um, and he couldn't fight through anything. You know, it, it, he, he looked bad, and that's just the reality of it. And to his credit, he's a good kid, he's got great character, and he's got good toughness about him, and he wanted to be good. You know, he, he worked out extra, and he's got himself – He's changed his body, and he's changed his body. He's got himself in shape, and he's moving like he hadn't moved all year, and his stats are uh, reflective of that. I mean, he's averaging seven points. He probably could get more touches down there. Uh, part of that seven points is because when you shoot 40% from the free throw line, that's his fault. He's only averaging seven. Uh, but he was averaging three or four rebounds back in the fall. Now he's averaging eight, you know, and, and has had double-figure games you know, so he, he, he's been terrific. He's obviously the most improved, but they all are. I mean, from Cam, from where he was at Valpo to now, it's a, he's a different player. Um, you know, all these guys have, have made strides. Does it surprise you, some of the moves that Jonathan makes for his size? I mean, I know he had the, the breakaway dunk there early against Warren. Yeah, he's got, I mean, that the one thing they talked about him, you know, when we talked, I have a good friend in that league down there, and they thought he was a junkyard dog. and. You know, James had talked about his skill level and, you know, so you can see it at times. And now we're trying to, you know, he had an elbow rip through play the other day and trying to put him in some situations now that I feel more comfortable putting him in. But um, he can move his feet and he can catch. And um, he's another guy probably I'll be playing defensive end or tight end and make a lot of making millions, you know, but he's 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 really improved. Talk about the advantages of playing in the big gyms like that, that uh, Ishii Martin and and translating that to, to Murphy's or to Miss Auditorium, you know, is there any advantages of playing in big gyms like that, knowing that you're going to be playing in another big and amorphous gym uh, during the tournament? No, the only thing I hope Thursday is that, man, we've got an awesome crowd. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. You know, I'm concerned about our team going over there ready to play and playing defense and guarding because that's going. if we can guard for two games, we'll have an opportunity to win two games. Uh, both those teams are such good scoring offensive basketball teams that if you don't guard, you're just going to be in a shootout. And I don't want to just be in a shootout like we were at Belmont. Um, I don't I don't think that's that's how you win on the road. I think you go on the road and win because you guard and uh, you rebound and then you make tough plays and you make free throws. But, you know, we played in this arena on Thursday, Saturday, you know, so I, I don't think the arena, I just, the atmosphere I hope is great uh, at Martin. I hope the atmosphere is great at SEMO. Uh, and if they're home crowds, that's better, you know, because that's how it'll be in Nashville. We'll have a great contingent of people down there. So. Um, we just try to get through Thursday. All right, guys.